Hello Spideys, ever wondered whenever you open your application and its UI gets changed without updating the application? Let's find out. We are talking about server driven UIs. Server driven UIs are just like the API calls that we make regularly for, for getting our data. So getting our data like uh, we need some of the list of the persons who are participating in the organization. So it's just in the same way we fetch the UI component rendering data that in the JSON format, the JSON format tells the front end code that what components need to be rendered to the website for the user. Every time we change the server components from our servers and the application which user is using, the user UI might get changed and even the information and the actions can be controlled from our server only. Let's find out with the help of the diagram that I have implemented here. In the server, the API is present We're using which we are making an API call of get UI. It is in get method API that we are uh, calling and it will fetch out the JSON format data to us and JSON format as we all know it's in the type of the object and when, within this object we will have a type that which component is to be rendered with the same we will have its action and it the component with the data will be filled and the rendered component will be present in the website it can be usually done with the native apps too but as for the uh, easy understanding, I am implementing it to the web application file structure that I am using. So we have two or three types of components that I have created for short time to show you all that how these server driven UIs work properly. Now take upon the consideration like if we have a type of browser. As Krausal, we all know the Krausal is for the swiping up or clicking next, next on a uh, horizontal manner to get the list out of the food items or any uh, product in the e-commerce websites. As you might have seen in the Amazon Flipkart and hospitality applications that every time we go uh, into those uh, weekly after an every week those applications ui or a home page gets changed frequently with new real-time based uh, offers and situations now move on to the code that uh, will help us to understand more frequently how this works so as this is being a react app which consists of a function functional component of name app and this will return out a nav, which is uh, a very common and, and hard-coded one that I have not made a server uh, driven because as nav will, will be uh, common to all the screens and would not be changed regularly. But the thing is, the text and carousels are the two components, main components that I have used. And within these components, I have also used a button. Button will also will be changed from the servers, and uh, with the with every change, the action can also be changed. Let me show you that what all are inside these components. So, Krausal is a component which will take us to the another Krausal components. In React, we we uh, structure the UI with the help of the components, different components and different uh, properties. So we are passing on the property of data that we are uh, that we are providing it to the through through the JSON format. So as we are converting this to an uh, array, and it will return the Krausal component. So the Krausal component basically is like mapping all the properties that we have, like images, uh, alt tag, and the text text one for subheading actions within it and style that we want from it. So, uh, we can have uh, different objects like action is one of the type action like which will contain the button type which button is to be shown there. So, we have a G button and a R button. Though, we can make this button uh, a single one like, like we do 
our hair and we can facilitate our style from our server only and with the same and we have our text component here so the text component uh, will also have the property of data in the way that we have passed through the carousel and here the written uh, it will return the text from it in the form of paragraph and within the buttons with the with the help of buttons so now it's uh, now it's time to look over the application that we have created and how this will work in the real time as i'm not in the directory so i will move into the directory and now start the application let me show you the g button also so it is it consists of nothing but the link and the style and the action that we need to provide so as you can see it is all being rendered from our server so this is a simple application that i have created and it is not much complex and uh, much well oriented but the thing is uh, the purpose is fulfilled with this as you can see these components are being rendered from server this is not ever written uh, any information is written on the front end these all our information are fetched from the servers as you can see uh, our carousel <coughs> don't have the images uh, and styling are also being fetched from the server and now let's move you through the server file also that the api call is made yeah, i have it acting like a server api call is made and we got all the data that we need to implement to our website so this is a browser that we are using in the header and you can see uh, by switching over the uh, applications into a part and now you can see that this this is the browser that we are having here and for the change let me do some changes this is the first sale uh, of month and now boom this is being rendered automatically here no time lag and no refreshing so this could be very effective in e-commerce websites and uh, real-time applications but the thing is this uh, server driven UIs are not much considerable in uh, OS based applications OS based applications such as which are being controlled and always need needs uh, uh, core OS functionalities like music applications which will be uh, controlled using our smartwatches, our earbuds, and even uh, within our sleep mode. So we need to control these applications from core OS functionalities. So we it might not be a good uh, approach to use uh, server-driven UIs on those applications but for the real-time applications which are uh, totally dependent on online platform so these might be very helpful for you to implement on server driven uis as you can see from the uh, <clears throat> from our applications this components are being rendered easily and if if i change this border uh, of button to red as you can see this button will get changed automatically and let me change the background color of the button so as you can see easily that how these buttons get changed so uh, this not looks good though uh, yeah and now and now as you can see the action is being provided that it will redirect us to a new uh, website named google.com now let's click on this and as you can see this uh, this action is fulfilled you uh, and this is the same way that when we click on some button it will redirect to another page or another listing like uh, like uh, in the flip part you might have seen the new offers of mobile uh, offers and it will redirect to our mobile listing so this and uh, another component that we are having is a text component so for the text component let's move on to the to our text component from our uh, <coughs> ui now here you can see this the data that we are uh, facilitating here are 
are of two types. We, we are controlling the paragraph style and paragraph text. In both the things, you, you will got to see the styling and the text. So within, within this, we are also having the action button. Action button is, uh, uh, you can see, we, we are having this style here. And we can also provide the complex styling from here also. Like in the React, we are having a styled uh, sheet, which will style, style library for CSS, which will help us to write this JSON properly. As we can, uh, as from now, uh, if we directly uh, style the component from in uh, from in style inline styling, so it will not use the pseudo selectors like uh, hover and everything in from a uh, CSS property. So it will not work. Now another uh, also a text component. Let me change some of the properties of it and visualize it to you that how it's render. Like uh, you can see that as the font size gets smaller when I change the property of this component. So this is what server-driven UIs usually work upon. You might also have seen that uh, once here is a carousel, then sometimes it becomes the text here and some new thing appears on the screen. So now just remove it. As you can see, this is being removed and let's facilitate it to the top end as you can see uh, i have facilitated it to the top end and boom you can see this uh, component uh, is now on the top and also uh, it's it's like a magic that uh, without updating or uh, doing anything to it we are facilitating our components right in the right place or for the user to interface like if they click on this so it will redirect us to the uh, google.com and this is some of the websites like drop diaries and these buttons will also work same because i have not changed the action for all i have implemented this project to just uh, provide you an overview that how a server driven uis works so this is what this was the web application that will help you to control your website from server without changing any front end code uh, it will just need 2 3 minutes to change upon the uh, some database table and just save it and boom your application looks look and feel gets changed totally it was all about the server driven uis Hope you understand that server driven UIs are being used by many of the uh, companies because for, for their users, the same UI, UI components might look boring every time they uh, inter interact with the application. So to maintain the usability between the user and the application, this UI rendering from the server is very useful because this is, this will not even even make customers to update those uh, heavy applications to their mobile thank you for all uh, staying with me and listening to what server driven uis and what can we do from it and how uh, effective it is for and the applications which help uh, which can be beneficial from it i have already told you that online based platforms application can be very useful from it but the os which uses the core application uses will not be helpful from server driven uis hope you will all be good and meet you next time